Hi all, Lee Veris here, just back from Iceland with another Phototech Tuesday. Each week I'll be bringing you another video exploring photo techniques, equipment, software, creativity, travel, and more. Today I'm going to look at the new Lightroom AI denoise feature and how it works with Aurora pictures. Now, let me start by saying how I feel that most people are overly concerned with noise in digitally captured images. Most newer cameras have incredibly clean sensors that do not exhibit a noticeable noise even at high ISOs. However, there are occasions when you must open up shadows in a seriously underexposed image, or you have large dark areas in a nighttime image, and that's where you're going to do encounter disturbing noise. Aurora photos contain large areas of dark sky and very smooth gradients that exhibit noticeable noise. Photos like this can benefit from the new AI denoise feature in Lightroom. So let's examine how all this works in the latest version of Lightroom. All right, so here we are in uh, Lightroom, and uh, here's my Aurora picture. This is uh, captured in Iceland at the last day of our tour. Uh, we were going back to the hotel from our location, and I looked out the window of the car, saw this happening in the sky. So we pulled off the side of the road, immediately hopped out with our tripods and started snapping away. So this is straight out of camera. Uh, this was um, four seconds, oh, five seconds uh, at f4.5 and uh, ISO of 3200. So um, we're, gonna, we're gonna find that we have some serious noise in this image. Uh, but it's not going to become really evident until I've started editing it. So let's let's get this image in shape here. Uh, with things like this, um, I usually start with the clarity slider, and I'll just start cranking it. Uh, it, it puts a little more structure uh, in the image. We start to see a little bit more detail, especially in these kind of little feathered uh, areas of the aurora. And... Um, a little vibrant slider to saturate up those cool colors, maybe. Um, and sometimes I play around with a white balance. I'll cool it off just a little bit uh, and and then add uh, a little more magenta to pull, bring out the purples. Um, sometimes it's sort of back and forth here. We'll just bring back a little bit more of that green. Uh, anyway, the other thing you can do is go into the HSL. And uh, since I'm trying to pull out these purples, um, you could use the target adjustment tool and click on a color that you want to emphasize and you can kind of see it's mostly a, in the purples and the blues. I'm trying to make them a little lighter, you know, so I'm in the luminance area here. Um, and I'll go to saturation uh, and it's, it's really the purples that need the saturation. So I, I've already kind of cranked it here a little bit on this image. Now, now that we've done all this, um, Let's look at the, at the noise. So when you zoom into 100%, you can kind of see there's a fair amount of noise and anywhere there's, a, there's just a little bit of light from an aurora in the sky, you really got kind of some serious noise in there and it would be, be nice to eliminate this. Uh, I have nice sharpness in the, in the stars and everything. And, um, but the noise, even, even here at the full view of the image, you can kind of see a little bit of graininess to the image. So, Let's use the AI denoise feature. And there's two places where you can get this. Uh, under the photo menu at the top here, uh, you can go down to enhance. Uh, you, the same thing uh, will happen if you go to the detail panel and click on the denoise button. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and we can see the, the preview starting to load here. It may take a couple of seconds uh, or up to a minute even uh, for it to load the data in for the, for the enhanced dialog here. I find that setting the denoise amount to 75 seems to work really well with the Aurora pictures. Uh, and as soon as the, the preview loads in, we'll get an estimate for the amount of time it's going to take to actually apply the denoise. So here comes the preview, very grainy. You can see this is at one to one, uh, and it's just picked the center of the image here. Now, as soon as it finishes giving you the smooth 
yeah, here's here's the, the effect. We can go from this much noise to really smooth. And it gives you an estimate here, nine minutes. So we're going to go ahead and click on this Enhance button, and it's going to take nine minutes to apply that effect. So I'm going to shorten that time for you in the video so you don't have to wait. But here we go. Okay, so here we are with our denoised image. I'm going to zoom in and you can kind of see how much smoother everything is. Um, and now let me set up a little comparison. So here you can see the comparison between to the original undenoised and the denoised version. But what I find interesting is that in every area that matters, we're getting actually enhanced detail. So you can kind of see a little more structure, a little more edge definition in these subtle shapes. So the AI is also not blurring out the, the, the stars. It knows what a star is and knows what the sky is, and it really smooths things out in an amazing way. So um, this is just really pretty stupendous. All right, so what I'm going to do now is uh, let's let's look at a little slideshow of some of these uh, amazing auroras. Well, that's it for now. I hope you can see how the new AI denoise can improve Aurora photos or any other night sky photos by removing noise and enhancing detail. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you don't miss another Phototech Tuesday. And I'll see you in the next Phototech Tuesday. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>